everyone so today's look is a fun glamour doll eyes look i'm using a bunch of new colors that i just ordered um mannequin i was super excited to see that they finally created like a nude shimmery highlight color so i'm wearing that one um rocks candy nymphette morocco lace panties and of course my fun new hair color and slightly new haircut so i'm gonna turn around so you can see that so it's just more choppy and more piecey um Without looking spiky, I had more layers in it before where they were really all spiky on top and I felt that that kind of prevented it from looking kind of pretty and flowy and long. So these are just really um, done up really nice. There's texturizing product in my hair so you can see all these cute little pieces. There's a lot more platinum pieces throughout it. Um, a lot of gold right about here just to sort of um, prevent it from looking too, I don't know, Rudy grown out when it starts to grow out. I'm going to continue growing it a little bit longer. Um, I just want it to look very flowy and pretty and when it gets to the point where if it looks thin or not attractive I'm not going to continue getting it longer past that point. So anyways I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. I've taken the Underloo Naturals Luminous Eye Brightening Serum all, the, all over the lids up to the brow bone and a little underneath the eye just to cure some eye bags. Now I'm taking the All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to be taking a little bit of Glamour Doll Eyes um, Mannequin. And we're going to be putting this on with the Sigma E70. And we're just applying this from the lash line onto the eyelid, the crease, up to the brow bone. And we're just using this as an all over wash from the lid to the brow. I'm now going to take Rock's Candy, and this doesn't really remind me of Blue Rock Candy because Blue Rock Candy is like really blue. More or less reminds me of like the Clear Rock Candy when you see it like really gleaming and sparkling. And I'm going to place this from the eyelid all the way up and out. And then we're going to place this about an eighth of a way into the crease just to blend it out very evenly. I'm now going to take Morocco, which is a super dark, intense brown with gold shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and take that on that same E70. We're going to go ahead and place this from the lash line to the crease on the outside. So I'm going to be doing a little outer V in the outer shape of the eye. I used to do this when I was back in cosmetology school where I'd already do that sort of winged shape with the shadow and then a V right inside of it just to really give a good cat eye. I'm taking Nymphette from Glamour Doll Eyes which is also part of the blogger collection along with the color Morocco. It's a black and purple with blue and pink shimmer. I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil and I'm placing a couple coats of this along the lower lash line. I'm going to take Lace Panties, which is a nice lavender that literally has blue pigment in there and like kind of like a gold glitter. I'm going to place this on the lower lash line using the Sigma Mrs. Bunny E05, which is definitely much finer eyeliner brush than the 781 by Dime Tools. I'm going to take Southern Lace. This is the color from the Bloggers Collection that Piper created. I'm just going to go ahead and place this in the outer portion and kind of blend it into lace panties. I'm going to take Morocco and we're just going to connect the outer corner from that wing. I'm going to be taking a little bit more mannequin. And we're going to place this in the inner tear duct. I'm going to be taking Inglot Liquid Liner in the shade number 25. And we go from really thin to a little thicker in the outer corner. Sort of like a fun way to get the cat eye without doing a wing or too heavy a line. I'm now taking Inglot AMC Cream Foundation in um, number 25, this bottle. I'm just going to put this on with the Dime Tools Green Bamboo Brush in 957.
highlighter. I took Stila All Over Shimmer Liquid Luminizer. This is very similar to Moonbeam, but a little uh, shimmerier. They also make one that's very similar to High Beam, and I, it's like a white uh, with like pearl finish. I put it down my nose bridge and upper part of the cheekbone and the cupid's bow. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking Chocolate Soleil. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of Sun Bunny just to punch up the tone of the bronzer. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs. I'm going to be taking uh, Too Faced Full Bloom Ultra Flesh Powder Blush in Who's Your Poppy. I'm going to be putting this on with the Dalian Tools 959. Now going to be taking Steel a Custom Color in Coral. I'm now going to be taking a highlighter and I'm going to take the Dolly Tools 959 again and Snow Bunny. Just like this, a little under the eye. Sun Bunny right on top. This is much more gold, but it's prettier muted so that way you can actually see it. I'm now going to go ahead and take Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in the shade, and I need to sharpen it, in the shade number 68. Um, I'm going to be taking Stila's Color Bomb Lipstick, which has the feel of a bomb and kind of the scent of a bomb wood, um, whatever, you know, bombs vary in scents. This is, happens to be a light, light, light peppermint oil, which some don't find moisturizing, some find soothing. I find it soothing, and if it's not too strong a peppermint, actually really cooling in the summer. And this is the shade Olivia. I took Glamour Doll Eyes Mannequin, which is that nude color with silver sheen, which I'm wearing as my highlight. It's very tan nude and just dab that on. It'll also absorb some of the lipstick, which will actually make it more matte. And, oops, last longer. I just let my lipstick and lip liner fall on the floor. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this look and thank you for watching.